if time was needed for distance, with absence has made the heart grow fonder. The marvel of music, socially engineered on purpose, so there would be no comparison, no thoughts to ponder. The world is riddled with riddles, billions of people trying to figure out life. It's pitiful. Enter our world. This podcast, this journey, the second phase of an eneology. This is a prelude for the story of season four. The Donson Podcast. You better tell somebody. Uncle Rico, Shannon Montana, Right, Jerry, here we go again. Another Donson Christmas. My favorite time of the year. Here we go. Let's get it. People can feel a heightened sense of loneliness and despair during Christmas because they are not able to be with loved ones or don't have many people around them. Mm-hmm. Other people like me may have family around but feel detached mm. from them all because of something they are struggling with. Y'all, y'all catch what I'm putting down, right? Yeah, yeah. Now, on this Christmas Day, I'm here to tell y'all I struggle. Um, I, I struggle with telling women the truth. <laughs> surprise, <laughs> surprise. Uh, I thought that was 365 days. <laughs> <laughs> What's new here? This is a, this has nothing to do with the holidays. Uh, hey, I just wanted to get that out of my system. Yeah, Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas, <laughs> Merry Christmas Montana. Merry Christmas to you, too. Hey, yeah. And to all Bonk. those women. Huh? Bah humbug. You better know it. <laughs> bah humbug. Scrooge. That's yes, me. <laughs> Merry Christmas, everyone. Now, don't forget to tune in Monday uh, for the audio version of the Dunson Podcast and every Wednesday on our YouTube channel titled the Dunson Podcast. Mm-hmm. So we do have a show tomorrow, y'all. Okay. It's time for the Dunson Riddle Show. Mm-hmm. It's the Dunson Riddle Show. Let's you kill You have 60 seconds to solve the <laughs> right. riddle, which Dang. is an ample amount of time. <laughs> if you answer wrong, a dummy's getting electrocuted. Okay. And here's your host, Rod. All right. Here we go. Mm. All right. Here it is. You guys got 60 seconds to solve mm. this riddle. Okay. And uh, we have been 100% so far this season, so let's make Christmas 100%, please. No. Mm. Somebody got to get fried today. We'll see what we can do. <laughs> we will see what we can do. All right. Here's the riddle. How does the gingerbread man make his bed? <laughs> that should be an easy one, right? That for me. All right. Y'all want to hear it again? Yeah. yeah. All right. If y'all can't get it again, I'll give y'all a clue. Mm. How does the gingerbread man make his bed? Think visually. Mm. So, y'all need a hint? <laughs> yeah. Damn. <laughs> I don't so, care for you. I'm going to fry, fry me somebody today. <laughs> <laughs> so, if I were to make my bed, what would I use? Sheets. So, if I was a gingerbread man, what am I? Bread? No. In a baking shop, what am I called if I'm a gingerbread man? The baker. A treat? 
What, what, a dessert? <laughs> no, what is a, a gingerbread man? Is it chocolate chip? Co- it's ginger. Chocolate chip. Cookie. Gin- cookie. What no. I mean? <laughs> I ma- he makes his bed with cookie what? Dough. Dough. No. You make a you make you make a bed with what? With sheets, a cookie thank, sheet. Thank you. <laughs> All right, it's time for oh, Rent Do <laughs> in the City. <laughs> what I'm about to announce, I put into each one of my tenants' mailbox, but I understand that reading may not be fundamental to most. <clears throat> uh, uh, hear ye, hear ye. It's Christmas. And as you well know, I own properties in Moss Point, Mississippi, mm-hmm. Portsmouth, Virginia, and Dayton, Ohio. Dayton. In keeping with the Christmas spirit for this one time only, I'm taking off 25% on rent this coming January 1st. <laughs> and if your name starts with the letter P or the letter R, you'll get an additional 25% oh, wow. off. Really? So for Pookie and Ray Ray, you can get half of <laughs> Thank me later, and oh, Merry really? Christmas. Really? Oh, by the way, rent will be going up 25% for January. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> we'll Santa Montana, let's get it! Uh-huh. Montana, here they go again. Another later? I'm a little mm. This is what they wrote. Today's letter is titled Ugly Betty. And this person is actually from Nashville, Tennessee. What? Damn. Yeah, we don't get that too often. Hey, we send a lot of them. We send a lot of them rocking around here. You know what? <laughs> Y'all, I ain't got nothing to do with that. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I do Which not. one? Yeah, that, that's on Rod. But <laughs> this person is, um, they are a millennial. Okay. And uh, the name, I just said Ugly Betty. So mm. we'll get to it. Yeah. So they stated, I don't consider myself particularly the chosen one. I'm Ooh. sort of attractive, but I haven't connected with a man for a considerable period of time. I guess you can say I'm troubled, in particular by what happened repeatedly when I go out to single dances or to bars with my best friend, whom I regard as really attractive. Men frequently approached her only to end up not paying any attention to me. Mm. Sometimes two guys would talk to her at the same time, leaving me sitting there alone, embarrassing. I wonder whether I was attractive enough to compete. In a more general sense, I'm asking Uncle Rico whether men are interested solely in dating the most attractive woman they can find. Anyway, I have crawled into a shell. Maybe I need a makeover. I compare myself constantly with everyone. The only guys that approach me are black guys, maybe because I have a big butt. (laughs) You know what? (laughs) I have a routine of walking in the grocery store to my apartment, which is a high traffic area of vehicles. I often hear words from passing cars saying, you're so ugly. Four four eyes. Go to the dentist. How can I see her teeth? Whatever. (laughs) Ugly. Ugly. You're a dog loose. Where's your owner? Damn. It's harsh. (laughs) Hurtful words, but not to me. I've been called those things all my life. The Don Sound Podcast makes me laugh. Sad to say, but your show keeps me smiling and laughing. Mm, There's a snowball chance that you will pick my letter to read, but the next best thing, I really wish that I was there with all of you. Mm. Sign. Shababuvida. That's... (laughs) (laughs) Brown. (laughs) Their name is Shababuvida Brown. (laughs) Shababuda Brown. Shababuvida Brown. I think they accidentally put their name at the end. Oh my gosh, y'all know anybody by that name? No, nah. nah, but we'll find out sooner or later, I guess. <laughs> oh my gosh. All right, Unc, what'd you think about this person that wrote this letter? And I did ask you a question in that, particular. I, I, I love, and I took that question because, um, you know, the, you know, the old school saying, beauty's only skin deep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You know, no, no, on a serious note, though, looks are uh, appealing and you know, attractive and everything. 
But for me, at the end of the day, at the end of the day, it's gonna come down to your character mm -hmm. and how you behave and act and treat me as well. You know, uh, mm -hmm. uh, yeah, I can see myself dating someone who wasn't the most attractive person. How, how many if times they have got, you? How, how many times have I done that in your life. in my lifetime? Yeah, a uh, few times, really, because mm -hmm. personality is attractive. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? I mean. I'm gonna go back to my junior high school day. Uh huh. Man, I was madly in love with this girl, and she was over 300 pounds. Uh, wait a minute. <laughs> I'm serious. You I'm, better quit look, body shaming. No, no, I'm serious. No, you, look, look. You went to look. school for the blind for no, one year. No, no. This girl had a beautiful. <laughs> she had a beautiful aura, of personality about mm. herself, man. Mm. And she was always smiling and happy. And man, look, I was crazy about. That girl, man. I ain't gonna call her name because I don't want to embarrass nobody. Oh, she, okay. But, no, but seriously, hey, man, I was crazy about her. And this is real. This is serious. I ain't telling no story here because her personality and the way she just carried herself, it was so attractive. Mm -hmm. It wasn't about how big she was and people laughing, making fun of her. It was the inner beauty mm -hmm. that she displayed that made me so, man, wow. wow. How come you didn't go all the way? Well, I did for a while. Like we I said, it was high school. Yeah, who said he didn't? That was a long time. Well, you know, high school sweethearts. <laughs> yeah, look, marrying man. But, them. But anyway, like I'm saying, you couldn't bring her home to mama, right? <laughs> I could have brought her home to mama. <laughs> what? Mama would have probably loved it too because she had that aura about herself. Mm -hmm. She was a beautiful person. It ain't always about the physical beauty, man. It's the beauty of the heart and the soul mm -hmm. and that really attracts a man. Mm -hmm. At the mm -hmm. end of the day. Except for Rob. <laughs> yeah, you know I, I, have, uh, I couldn't have brought nobody <laughs> okay, well you, home 300 see, pounds okay, because. But let me ask you something then. Uh-huh. <laughs> well, 300 pounds or ugly or pretty or whatever. Mm, yeah. Mm. At the end of the day, if you just going to try to help somebody because of their looks, which like they said, eventually it's going to fade away. Yeah. What you going to have then? Mm. Yeah, honestly, you ain't going to have nothing. You ever see? But that's what I'm saying because you didn't look no deeper. Yeah. Yep. Well, I mean, don't you gotta look past that physical attraction sometime, man, because that'll fool you. Trust me, I've been there too. Uh, <laughs> With the beauty, beauty, and when you act through, it wasn't nothing. Nothing, Nathaniel. Yeah, I <laughs> it wasn't uh, nothing. I um, <laughs> I, I must admit, I did bring uh, an overweight girl home for uh, for supper <sighs> one time, and my uncle embarrassed me. Who you brought home, Big Shirt? He shirts. said, um. This is from uh, Jaws, nineteen seventy-seven. You know what? <laughs> We're gonna need a bigger boat. <laughs> Rod, you gonna get canceled? Keep fucking around. <laughs> I'm sorry, y'all. <laughs> no, man. Montana, what you think about this? I, this this person has really been taking some hits. I think man. I just echo everything that Unc said. Beauty is in the eye of the beholder, mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. something I know plenty of men have told me it's somebody out there for everybody. But so, no. it, good, uh, you know what you consider ugly, pretty, thin, big, whatever the case may be, it's all about the presentation. Yeah. Because you know, you see people that are, you know, I'll say in our society these days, a lot of times thinner is deemed to be better, not mm -hmm. saying it is. Um, but you have people that, you know, may have a beautiful face and may be thin, but got a nasty attitude. What you see. And yeah. don't nobody want to deal with them, they not attractive. No. Or you have people to Unk's point, uh, I haven't personally experienced somebody being really large, but I have experienced guys that would initially probably not be my type physically, mm -hmm. but their personality, they always smell good. You know, mm -hmm. cologne, that gets your attention with a woman faster sometimes <laughs> than your words will. Uh, damn, I didn't know that. <laughs> yeah, you, you wouldn't know. You know uh, put them on, guys. See, that's your problem right now. But I just, I I agree, wash. you know what? <laughs> I do, I just agree that I think it's beauty is in the eye of the beholder. And it's about how you carry yourself because just listening to the letter, it sounds like she walks around with her head hanging low. What it doesn't sound like she has any belief in herself that yeah. she's worth anything internal or external. Yeah. So I think it starts there. And my thing is also, if you're big, you want to get small, and you're small, and you want to get big. Mm -hmm. uh, put in the work either way for whatever you want to do. And also, the last piece, we live in a society this day, as we all know, you see women in front of your eyes on social media change their body, change their face, change their teeth, change their hair. 
whatever you want to look like, boo, go out there. You might have to pay for it, but yeah. you can you get can it done. You can be anybody you want. I can be anything. Yeah. Literally, in, in the year that we, the year of the Lord right now, you can be whatever you want to be, and you can look like whoever you want to look like. Yeah. yeah. Oh, man. Well, um, man, poor girl. Uh, well, it's Christmas, and it's estimated that 8% of the people overall will be spending Christmas alone this year. Mm. You and the 8%? Yeah. yeah, well, I was part of the 4% before. <laughs> now, yeah. which is up 4% from last year. I was in the 4%, so it's 8%, so I'm not in that category anymore. Mm -hmm. You know, 4 and 8. You know what? Right. So only, get this, 20% of adults have said that they will be with their parents on Christmas Day. 12% mm. uh, lower than last year, right? Now, even if you have a lot of people around you, you can still feel lonely. Now, this yeah. might be because you feel you have to hide your feelings mm -hmm. of not having someone because of self-doubt. You feel unattractive. Now, Uncle Rico in Montana, the person that wrote in this letter, her name was uh, Ugly Betty? or No, that was the title, right? What was, what was her name? Shababu <laughs> beat <laughs> Hey man, this chick is probably ugly. <laughs> All right, so you know what? Well, you know, I, I would like to meet that person just to see her personality, man. Well, I tell you what, you huh? know, because that, you know, I feel like if she's so, I, I honestly think that she's a beautiful person within, mm -hmm. and she's stuck on the physical, yeah, and don't understand her real, true beauty and attractiveness. Mm -hmm. You know, so hey, yeah. I would try to lift her up, really. I really would. Really? Yeah. Montana, you would you try to lift her up? I guess. I mean, I'm gonna follow your your lead since you about to get us canceled anyway. <laughs> <laughs> On Christmas. <laughs> what Christmas. do the lonely do? <laughs> at Christmas. Now, Uncle Rico and Montana, mm. this experiment might go left. Okay. But let's try it. Okay. Now, through modern day technology, we're able to take the person that wrote this letter for the first time in history on a podcast mm. we're able y'all don't believe me do you we're able to take the person who wrote this letter and bring them on the panel to ask them some questions what yes I, I gonna do that. tell her what here we go ah! oh what damn. am i doing here <laughs> Did you put some in my drink last night? Oh, <laughs> the truth comes out, y'all. <laughs> How did I get here? You? How did I get here? You put something hey, in my drink last night? Hey, I told y'all this. I didn't know this was gonna go left or right, but it Ooh. went. It still went left. <laughs> but look, I, I remember am, your face are, from the club. You, I can't believe this shit worked. But yeah, are you? Yeah. Ugly Betty, did you just write into My us? name is Shabuba the Brown. They call me Boo 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 Thing. <laughs> Sometimes Betty. <laughs> okay. Well, wow. well, don't panic. We're glad you're here. Okay. So uh, this is our first time ever doing this. Now, uh, based off the letter, I know dating has been hard for you. Oh. All right. Okay, I know letter. that you, uh, okay. <laughs> I know you've been called ugly. I didn't say it that, you you know, you said it in the letter. Uh, but what we're doing well, is we're, we're, we're here <laughs> to, uh, you know, we're here to help you find a date. Okay. 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 Uh, but we're gonna build up your confidence as well, so you're in good hands. Okay. Uh, all right. So I just want to um, ask questions. Okay. I need to do yeah. this. Yeah. Yeah. Go ahead. All right. This is new to me. Course, yeah. So you're able to hear us. Can you hear us pretty good? I can hear you great. We're so glad you're on the show, Montana. I, can't I am in shock. I am in shock. You can't believe shock. it's good. <laughs> I mean, oh my gosh. gosh. You in shock. This is crazy. I can't believe this worked, y'all. Lord Jesus. Wow. Well, I'm right. ready for a date. Help me get a date. You can help me get a well, date. Before we <laughs> help you get a date, we need to find out where your mind is. Okay? But we can't just set, set you up with just any old body. So okay. I'm just going to ask you some questions to see where you are. Okay. And us, the team, is going to help you. Okay. All wow. right. So the first que question, uh, ugly. I mean, uh, ah! First question, uh, uh, Betty. Uh, we just want to know where you are. So this is like a dating profile thing. Okay. Here. Now, A, would you pick a man that's five foot six in height, educated, 
or a six foot four dude in height that has a high school education? Mm. Who got the bigger penis? <laughs> I mean, like, what's the differential between penis sizes? You know what I'm saying? Because that's what I'm all about. I'm just trying to see who swinging low. That's what I'm all. Coming for the Karen me. You know what I'm saying? But <laughs> all right, Betty. Yes. All right. Second question. Um, <laughs> oh, my God. Would you prefer a uh, professional that makes seventy two thousand a year, uh, with below average looks, or a truck driver making seventy two thousand a year with model looks? I need the model so I can make these hoes mad. No. When I <laughs> No. All right, I think we're getting somewhere here. Yeah, huh? yeah. All right, next question. Um, would you split the bills 50-50? Or would you split the bills 90% him or 10% you? That's Listen, I'm a 100% type of chick. <laughs> so I'm giving my all. He ain't got to pay no bills. I hold it down for my man. Oh my I hold it down. I do Ooh. all. I, I am she. I professional woman. I work for the state. I get child support. You know, I ain't really need nobody to do nothing for me. I run things. I run things where I'm at. I'm a boss. You the boss. I'm the boss. I did not. I didn't know Betty was a pick me. Okay. Oh, Betty, no, not a pick me. I'm a boss. Okay. I'm a boss. Oh my gosh. What's that song? Uh, I don't know. I got a song out. B A W S E. You know I'm a boss. That's me. She rapping. You heard it. You heard it. Here we come. Yeah. All right. Next question, Betty. He makes the final decision, or you make the final decisions. I thought I just told you I was the boss. I make the decisions on what's happening up in this house. Does that stun you? Does that surprise you? Hey, uh, yeah. I, think, I think you might have one. Oh, man. Woo. <laughs> All right, next question, Betty. Uh, his mom likes him, but your family doesn't. Or his mom doesn't like him, but his family does. Listen, I don't care what no, none of them got to say about my man. <laughs> we riding. You know what I'm saying? We ride. Mama, you wasn't even there. <laughs> family, family, shmamly. Yeah. We're paying these bills. <laughs> Boss. <laughs> All right, so uh, last question here. We can see if we can find you a match. Uh, mm. Would you prefer to ask him 10 questions about him first or he needs to ask you 10 questions about you first i need to know what he come with <laughs> so i'm asking the questions around this kingdom <laughs> you know i'm a queen i need to see where he measure up to you know what you got you know what's your size you know what i'm saying <laughs> what you working with <laughs> kind of like you <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, I'll Man. say it again. Or well, through modern day technology, we would like to uh, make you over. Into what? <laughs> <laughs> Are you open to that? I mean, I guess I see what you're talking about, but is it going to find me somebody that's really about that life? <laughs> well, let's see. All right. Wow. <laughs> wow. 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 All right. Well, sh uh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay. But uh, this is what we're going to do now. All mm -hmm. right. We're going to ask you the same exact damn questions and let's see if you have a different answer. All right. Mm, let's see. All right. <laughs> All, right. Mm. All right. Actually, these same questions I did last time. Question number one Would you prefer a man that's five, six? In height, educated, or a six foot four guy in height with only a high school education. 
I mean, obviously, I don't mingle with the uneducated <laughs> or the undereducated. <laughs> so. What? What? What a switch. <laughs> I mean, oh, I do have a master's degree. <laughs> what? What? Why would I lower myself? <laughs> oh, my okay. God. Okay. <laughs> Montana, you anything to say about no, this? No, I, I just have tuned into the show now. Okay. <laughs> All right. Uh, next question. Mm. Same as last, right? A professional making 72 k a year, below average looks, or a truck driver making 72 k a year with model looks? Well, you know, because I want to be the one shining in the relationship. <laughs> um, he's got to be average. I mean, obviously, I'm the star here. <laughs> wow. I love wait a minute, wait a minute. She got to be Beyonce of the group. <laughs> Thank minute. you. He wait. can be my Michelle. Wait a or okay. my, my, you know. Just a few minutes ago, uh, you were, what Kevin said, you say, average. Yeah. <laughs> 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 okay. All right. Give you a chance to redeem yourself. Switch your room. <laughs> Same question. <laughs> split the bills 50 50. Mm. Or bills split 90% him, 10% you. Why would I put in 10%? <laughs> Why would I even put in 10%? I mean, a man's value is not just based on his ability to provide, but how he got there. And, you know, someone with high integrity is going to pay all those bills. Wow. Hey, are y'all picking up what she put Student down? loans, wow. credit card debt, Sephora bill, all yeah. of that. <laughs> all of these. Oh, you're not like, going to get away with this, right? I'm, hey, man. <laughs> what can I Montana, I know you're not dealing with this. I'm with you when you're right. Okay, oh. Hello. <laughs> Hello. All right, next question. What have we created here? <laughs> oh, next question. Same one. Mm. He makes the final decisions or you make the final decisions. I mean, I can let him ceremoniously make the <laughs> final decision, but we all know that I'm really the one infecting his thoughts, and he does things based on my wishes. Montana, you He does Montana things this. based on my wishes. Again, I'm with you when you're right. Unk, you hear this? I've been listening, but I've recreated this monster. <laughs> <laughs> no, what the hell? All right. All right, let's see if you can. Hmm. Next question. Uh, your mom likes him. Wait a minute. You like him, but your mom doesn't. Or you, your, you like him. Excuse me. Hold on. So she got you, you out your tongue. Yeah, right. I'm just <laughs> your tongue tied up. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Your mom likes him, but your family doesn't. Mm -hmm. Or. Your mom doesn't like him, but your family does. Hmm. My mother, she gave me birth. She is the queen. <laughs> you know, her insights are important to me. I trust them. So I will follow her over my family. Okay. okay. All right. Makes sense to me. I, I can go with that. All right. Last question here. Um, would you ask him 10 questions about him first? Or he has to ask you 10 questions about you first. He needs to answer all my questions <laughs> on time <laughs> and immediately. Oh, my goodness. Um, so this has uh, been an incredible Christmas holiday in mm. show. Oh, yeah. Jingle, jingle. So oh, my God. Out to ugly, all the ugly people out there. <laughs> That just so happened to get a makeover. <laughs> um, keep it real. Mm. All right. Oh, but uh, thank you for writing into the show. Uh, and uh, nothing. Maybe we'll see you next Christmas. <laughs> Perhaps. Uh, Merry Christmas. Oh, and thanks for tuning in to Merry the Christmas. Podcast. Mm. Goodbye. <laughs>